And we are back. With another episode of Black Cat Star. Easy V, you ready for this? We gotta go, we gotta go. Black Cat Star, we back with another guest. And we gonna get into it. So you already know, once again, we back with another episode of Landcast Star. Shout out to everybody that been tuning in. Big shout out to my man, DJ Easy V. Yo, we here. And we got, what's your name? Tell them where you from. Yo, boy from Philly. I do my own things. I make them feel the vibes of OGs. I'm chasing me. I don't trust me. Yo, my name is City Tycoon. Straight from Africa. Yeah. City Tycoon. Big shout out to Africa in the building. East Africa. East Africa. East Africa. Get it right. Off the rip, we started with the freestyle and all that. So how long you been doing music? Uh, I think it's three years. Three years? Yeah. And what inspired you to do music? It's because I'm born talented. Yeah. And I want to be a star. Of course, I'm a star right now, but there is a level I want to reach. So I want to be a star and also be like a billionaire. So. Yeah. In all things, you live a dream. Yeah, yeah. So in all things, I chose music because music is my love, and I really love music. Yeah. Big shout out to music. You can make it real far with music. Make a lot of money doing oh, music, yeah. and you gotta love it and do it with a passion. Yes. Never let that dream burn out because it's something you can live off of. Yeah, I know the beginning is not easy. Yeah. But when yeah. you get there, you're living your life. You love it. Yeah. I've seen it firsthand. Yeah. I work with artists. I travel with them. I live with them. Shows with them and everything. And me wanting to be an artist, you know, back when I started my whole journey in the music industry, I could definitely vouch for people being able to survive, live, and build futures off music. Actually, what I just said right now, that I'm going to be a billionaire, I'm going to be a star. This is my first interview ever in here. Ever since His first started. interview. Hey. So right here, Red yeah. Cat Star. This is this is my first Remember interview. Remember City Tycoon right here. Yes. Red yeah. Cat Star see the first. And this is gonna be the witness for what I'm saying right now. Give me just one year, two years, I'm gonna be hot. Right. Make yeah. sure you jot that down. Remember that. Yeah, how we do. That. We're how gonna we bring do. this video back up and we're gonna show y'all. Yeah. Why. Gonna make everything happen. Oh. Yes, City Tycoon. Yeah. Yes. Coming from Africa, yeah. straight to the U.S., what was the first studio you got to? I came here in America 2018. Yeah. Um, I first went to school. I finished my high school. Then when I went, when I go to college, yeah. um, it was in the, corona, in the corona season, but you remember, yeah. right? Everything was shut down. I was loving music, but I don't know how to record. I don't know nothing. But I used to do freestyle for Big Mill's songs. Word. So when we went in the lockdown, I just tap in Google, I say, uh, studio recording near me. Just went in the studio, it's in South Philly, it's called Three Drum Recording. Shout out to Three Drum Recordings. Three Drum? Yes. Yeah. Philly stand up. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Big Philly. Yes, my, my journey started there. Uh, I met a producer called Mike. He told me that just do it. I know this guy is the remit. From that day, that's where everything started. What did you learn from the producers besides going in there with your own talent? Because I see you take advice from them. Yeah. So you listen to them. You know what I'm saying? You kept going. Yeah. So being that you had that type of respect for the producers, what did you learn from them as you was doing music? I know nothing in the music that time. Yeah. It was my first time to get the headphone. Yes, headphone to to the mic, so I don't know nothing, but the producer was showing me. I get these challenges with the producer I use. He, he doesn't speak my language. And the song that I was singing, it's like African language. Yeah. But he managed to keep me calm and do everything right, yeah. and I really appreciate for that. But right now I use many different producers, but what I do, because some producers here in America, they don't understand my language. And before I used to sing like, African language, like Uganda, Rwanda language. So if the producer is mixing, it's not gonna be perfect because he don't understand the, the language. Yeah. So what I do right now, I just record, then I send the vocals in Africa. 
and then let yeah, them chop yes, it up yes, over yes, there. Yes, yes, yes. That's dope. That's how you work around and make yeah. it happen. Yeah. What's the biggest producer right now in you in in Africa in East Africa? In East Africa, yeah. I've worked with more than six producers. Nice. I think all of them they are nice. Yeah. Uh, there's That's producer nice. Kesam Kumapesa. He's from Uganda. He's the, the one who did my first song. And uh, there is producer Element Ele. He's also in Rwanda. He's a big producer. Oh. And there is producer Laser Beat. He's also a big producer. There's producer Koze. He's also a big producer. Um, there's producer called To The Heat. He's also a big producer. And there's all many, many, many of them. And they're also working my album right now. And no, it's good. So you got a whole album coming? Yeah. And I heard your music. It's not the hip hop and all that. You tapping into your culture. I try to breed Afro, Afro music too. Because yeah. right now, I think in America, before Afro, Afro music was not popping. But yeah. right now, yeah. Afro now is. Afro's on the top. <laughs> He's done Afro a couple beats, parties. Bro, what? Yeah. Like uh, I was telling her, you was doing the soca parties and all that stuff yeah, too, and working yeah. with different people out here. They have different, different type of events and they tap into the Caribbean. And the so good, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, right now, All Afro stuff. music is reading. Before, yeah. it was not, but right now, um, you can see the video song, Amana uh, Vele, you know it, right? Yeah. It's a hit. Yeah. But me too, I know. So, soon, I'm yeah. dropping one song, it's gonna go viral with the world. Or, yeah. All his shit is club worthy, like he has rhythm in all his music. Think about it when you're making music, mm. don't only think about putting the song out, think about the effect this is gonna have on your audience. Yes. When you perform that song, can you see yourself singing or rapping to a girl and can she respond to you by dancing back? You see the females on a Snapchat. Yes. And they singing songs, lyrics to a song. Mm -hmm. Most of the times it's going to be a song that can relate to them or a message that they want to get to somebody without having to tell them themselves. Yeah. So as long as you stay relative and as long as you make music that females could feel good about posting themselves and having that song behind them, that's how you're going to really get your stuff out there. Yeah. And it's going <clears> to <throat> spread like crazy and go viral and people can make TikToks to it. So, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people tend to only stick to the lyrical aspect of it and they try to be so technical and, and lyrical and too deep and they don't understand that the simplicity of the music will help your music go further because not everybody's going to be as smart yeah. to think about or or be able to transcript somebody that's being so subliminal in their music. Yeah. So even though it's cool to put words together that are big words that other people don't understand, it's a lot more capable of going further when it's music that's easier and straight <clears throat> to the point. You know what I'm saying? Right, yeah. right. And girls could dance to and feel good to and also stuff that they could actually sing along back with you and know the words to. Yeah. So you you want to make it fun. You want to make it fire, yeah. relatable, and danceable. You yeah, uh, what I can say, uh, the music I do, I just target mostly girls because yeah. if you check my Instagram, every time I drop a song, the girls be snapping. Yeah. Yeah, so I love girls a lot. Um, females is going to be your biggest your Yes, biggest and I think females, most of the people who are pushing me to be on the top, it's females, yeah. girls. Mm -hmm. I love you so much. I love you. I love you. Shout, Shout out to the ladies. Out yeah, to the I love ladies. the ladies. Shout out to the ladies. ladies. Big round of applause for the ladies. Yeah. Ladies. Because of y'all, yeah. we do what we do. Yeah. And my man, City Tight Crew, yeah. hit you with the one, two. Yes. Easy V. You should have hit me with, with the, the crickets. I should never rap again after that. Nah, they just don't know. No, you the I rapper. Been told you. Oh, no, you the rapper. No, you the rapper. I'm you the rapper. I've been told you you need a rapper. Who who he looks like? Him. Is is there a is there a certain rapper or producer that he looks like? Who do I look like? Um oh, yeah, I dare you. yo, bro. I, don't <laughs> do it, bro. Don't, don't do it. I'm gonna have to. Nah. Yeah. Swiss Beats. Oh my god. You ever see Swiss Beats? <laughs> That's your man, Swiss Beats, right there. Look straight at the camera real quick. Show the camera. Yeah, they look like. Bruh. Look at those Swiss Beats. <laughs> Swiss. How many music videos have you shot already? Um, It's like six or to seven. 
you shot anything back home yet? No, 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 no? only here in the USA. Sometimes I go to Chicago, yeah. I go in Philly. Yeah, so that's how you grow your fan base. Too. Yes, yes, and you network and you get your features and you yes. meet different producers. Mm -hmm. I think every time you travel, you try to look up producers in those areas. Yes, because every producer in different parts of the of, of the world yes. is gonna have a different sound. Yeah, so you want to work your way around and try to find the sound that's gonna best fit you. And once yeah. you find that producer, you keep working with them. Yes. Turn them into your engineer. You know what I'm saying? The yeah. the the deeper you go, the deeper you get in the game. Yeah. Bless them. Take care of them. Yes. Take them with you everywhere. Yes. And then you and him could eventually start traveling and go to other studios and stuff like that. Do your features with other artists and all that. Yeah. But find that person that's the best with your sound. Yes. Because you gotta once you get that sound and that sound goes big. You're going to need that one person to make sure you always sound like yeah, that. I'm going to be with you every time. Uh, and then you're going to work with other producers mm -hmm. that will put you on different songs, put you with features. Once you trademark that one sound, make sure you got that producer to take with you everywhere. Yeah. Because you're going to have to bring that consistent flow to your fan base once your fan base develops to that sound. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and exactly. unless it starts getting old... Then you either work on a different sound if your producer could keep up with you yeah. and, and, and you know, keep innovating your sound or you end up working with different producers. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah I understand. Um, once sound. you get one producer who is like, everything is going to be good. Yeah. Build that relationship with them. Mm -hmm. Shout them out. Put them in your videos. Yeah. Show them love because the song is not just the artist by himself. Yeah. It takes a full team to literally put out a song. Yeah. For one record and everything that goes behind it, is a whole team. Yes. Sure. But I think one of the people that are the least highlighted would be the producers, the people that we never yes. see, the people yes. that are stuck yes. in the cave. Yes. Editing your songs, mastering it, EQing it, cutting it all yeah, up. Um, because a lot of producers tend to be low-key people. If you notice, they're always by themselves. Yeah. yeah. And it takes that to be able to make a masterpiece. But me, I, I really respect the producers because without the producers, yeah. you can't do nothing. So Big shout yeah. out to the producers. Shout out to the yeah. producers. Producers yeah. and the engineers. Yeah. Yeah. And the engineers. Yeah. Different yeah. terms, but almost yeah. the same thing. It's just producers make beats and all that. Yeah. Engineers of uh, EQ your voice, record you, yeah. do all the technical stuff as far as studio work, but produce, make beats and record you. Some producers don't record you. Some producers yes. just come with the beat. Yes. And then some producers, you know what I'm saying? Some producers could do both. Engineer, record, all that. So shout out to anybody that puts work in behind the scenes. I used to be a producer too. I went to school for it. Then I focused more on DJing. You produced one song. No, yo, yo. And then didn't even put it out? No, no, listen, listen, listen. Did if you see, if, you, if I actually show you what I did to this song from what the person sent to me and how it came out, you'll be like, there's You no still way. got the stems to it? That's a good question. It's probably on my laptop. Or so the MP4? You got the bounce? Anything? Oh, I just got to hit up the artist. All right, so we hit up the artist. I'll tell them. And then we're going to show them on the next podcast. Remind me. If I'm, if we're going to show them what you're working with. All right. <laughs> I got you. So, so back to my man, <laughs> City Tycoon. City Tycoon. Yes, yes, out yes. here repping the Big 717. So, you've been working on music, yeah, and you got a music video that you're planning on right now. Yes. Plus, what other music do you have in the works? Any features? Anybody that that you've been working with lately, or or, or something that's low key that nobody knows about? I have uh, two features. One is with a big guy called Papa Chango. He's from Rwanda. He's like one of the best rappers. And yeah. he's a good Papa guy. Chango. He's a really good friend to me. We did a song. It's called Te Amo. Te Amo? Te Amo, Te yes. Amo. It's a Spanish name. Yeah. Te Amo. It's a Spanish name. I also have another feature with another big rapper in Rwanda. He's called, his name is Betray. Yeah. My desk song is called Sinzaku Babalila. It's like in my language. And I'm, on my album, I'm planning to get another two features. And this is going to be your first album? Yeah, it's going to be my first album. Once you drop that first album, after that, one album after another. Yeah, that, that's what I'm going to do. 
because before I used to do <coughs> singles, one song, yeah. one song, one song. Now I'm not on that level no more. So I want yeah. to be doing big things. And this this like a role will do a singles because sometimes people tend to put out a full project with all unreleased songs, right? Mm -hmm. And then don't have enough time to promote each song equally. Yeah. So then we'll put out singles first. Fuck around and have like four or five singles already out. Yeah. And then hit them with another four to five songs on top and they drop an EP or how many ever to finish off the full album. And then when they drop the, the album, there's always a couple songs that was already out that they would add to that collection. But the reason most cases behind that is so that you at least have enough time to promote and give attention to each single individually so that you can maximize the outcome for each track. Because you put in time, you put in money, you put in everything into each single, regardless if it's a song that you might not care about that's on your catalog and you just want to fill up the whole album and you want to rush the album out so you just throw whatever songs you have. But you don't want to throw a whole album out where every single song is a brand new song. It could affect it not being able to spend enough effort on each song individually. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Equally. Yeah. And get the full outcome that you could get, the full potential. So I would say, you know, it's good. Keep on dropping singles. Let them build momentum. And at the same time, you build that anticipation for the full album. You drop a full album or a mixtape EP with a couple new songs on top of that. And then let those songs that are already circulating be the wheel that's already spinning so that those new songs could catch on and keep that algorithm going. You know what I'm saying? Like that, keep, yeah, that's what I'm that, gonna that, do. That, that wave going. Even before I drop my album, there's one song I have, it's a new song. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm not gonna drop them right away. No. I'm gonna just mm, in in my album, I'm gonna just drop like three songs. Then yeah. when I know they're gonna go viral, yeah. then after I just drop the remaining one. Like, no. yeah, like yeah. what you say. And at the beginning, too, a lot of artists, especially in artist development, before they really put them out there and put drop major projects, they would shuffle around and have the artists in the studio dishing out music until they find a sound that they feel is gonna be a good sound for them. Yeah. Or keep dropping singles, mix, you know what I'm saying, mixtapes and stuff like that until they get something that gets semi-hot and then either match it with something else and try to go bigger with it yeah, or just keep putting out music until something really, really, really hits. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because it's a gamble. You got to find yeah. which, it, which, you know what I'm saying, like what's, what's going to be your sound and the type of fan base is going to, yeah. You know, gravitate to you. Like, as I was saying, right now I have more than 12 singles yeah. out already. And what's your biggest single? Boy from Philly. Boy, Boy from Philly? Yeah. Yes. What's the inspiration behind that song? What, where, where did your message come from? Sometimes I tell people America is like second heaven to me. First heaven, which is yeah. the sky. So to me, when I came here, it was like my second heaven. Cause it was my dream. In, back in my country, the life was no good. I used to hustle, you understand? So when I got a chance, I came in America, I started a new life. I lived in Philadelphia. That's why I started school. That's why I got my first job. I loved that city. The people from Philly, all the vibe of Philly. So the reason why I did this song, to show people how good Philly is, the life of Philly, and also as my audience is, is, is not like like teenage like years from 20 to 25 yeah. to 30 so i want to show them how like you know these days how music is you gotta yeah. show the vibe how much love do you get from back home with your music i really i really get enough love my people from back home my people from rwanda my people from uganda thank you so much they, they've been supporting me for three years from now. They don't say I'm not there. They can't support. Sometimes they say, no, you are, you are far away. We can't give you a support. I'm working hard so that if I go back in my country, I'm going to go back as like a legend. Yeah. I left there as a hustler, right? I want to come back there as a hero, as a legend. Where, where I'm going to reach as on the... As a boss. Where, yes, right. where I'm going to reach on the airport, all the news around me. 
as you saying that, I could feel that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We're more fortunate where we at. That type of ambition is going to help you yeah. grow and go far in your music. Yeah. Because people from here are spoiled. You know what I'm saying? Yes. For them, it's easy. A lot of people play around with this music. Too. Yes. Yeah. You've been speaking English for only those couple years that you've been here? No, well, actually, when I lived in America, I did not speak English. No? Look at that. Mm -hmm. So you learned yes. to have a whole conversation yes. within just a couple years. Yes. So you gonna tell me that he can't make it in the in, in the music industry? Dang. There's people that have been living here their whole life and can't speak English. Can't properly speak English, bro. So that that's like I said, that's that dedication. Uh, let's you know what I'm saying? Uh, like that that <clears throat> that motivation that he has. To really make your work out here because he's he's adapted. Yeah. And at the same time, he's doing his shit. He's doing his music. You know what I mean? That he's latched on. And he ain't forget about nobody back home because he just said he's using producers and everything from back home. You know what I mean? So he's tapped it out there and he's tapped it out here. And imagine shit. how many people from out there would love to be in your shoes. How many yeah. people from out there are relying on you to be bring something before, back? Before you know that, I, mean? I can tell something. So, in Africa, without lying, we got a lot of talent. Yeah. But the problem, like, for me, I'm from the ghetto. Remember the life back there? It make, give me the motivation to work hard so that me to be a legend, I go help my, the, my ghetto people left there. That's what it's all about. Yeah. Bring it back. I look at Akon. Akon yeah. was one of the biggest, most iconic. To come into the music industry and fucking blow it out of proportion. And then go back. You know what I'm saying? The, the and live like they live it because it's not like he's lavishly out there. Just he's bringing light to places that never had light before. Clean water. You know what I'm saying? Clothes, putting clothes on, on, on kids' backs and all that. Food on the tables for them. Putting them in schools and all that. Like that is something that not everybody's willing to do. Yeah, me too. I wanna do like what Akon did, cause yeah. to make sure I, I get here, so I can go back. I help my people yeah. every month. I send money to help them, uh, so that they can eat, they can get food. Yeah. There's also the street kids who who live on the street. I think I managed to lend the house. They are living in right now, and I'm the one who have to pay every month. That's if, fire. He's paying for places for yes. people to stay. Okay. Yes, if God wishes, I go. Viral, I get more money, yeah. so it means I'm also gonna help back my people. Cause you never know, they might also if I help someone there, yeah. they might also be the next make me the make the next Davido, the next you know. Building yeah. a studio out there would be fire. That's what I'm. That's all yeah, my plan. That same crib yes. where you have people in staying at. Yes. Build the studio there. Put them to work. You know what I'm saying? I know, you know, I'm still, you know. <laughs> but if I get money, yeah. good, I will do it. Yeah. Yeah. Little by little. Yes. But the best part about it is that it's personal for you. Yes. You actually know these people. It's not like you selling money. No. And just, yeah, you know, whoever gets the money over there, help out no, whoever. No. no, you know these people. Yes, I know. So it's more personal. So yes. you're going to take it more into consideration. Than making an empty promise to a whole bunch of people just to look good. No. Like your family is back home. Yes. And they waiting on it. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Your cousin go but like, yo, you said. <laughs> you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, right. You big now, you said. So it's you know, it's yeah. more personal. Yeah. So I could see you getting to where you're gonna get to. Yeah. Because you actually have a real reason. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yes. It's not bullshit. Like Shit is real. Yeah. And I applaud you on that. Yeah. You don't recognize real. Yeah. Yes. How complicated to try to market yourself out here and try to spread your music, being that you got to compete with a whole different music background. I can compete with people here who got a like nice accent. Yeah. So that's why I started making sure I sing African language to first get the audience of Africa. Yeah. The more I'm going to be with African fans, audience, if I got a lot, when I start making English music, like to get the American audience, yeah. those people that don't want to push me to get also the 
American audience here. And also, like, you know, Davido, he used to live in America before. Yeah. He started his music here. Then he went back in a, in Nigeria. Also Rema. You know yeah. Rema? Yep. So he started his music here. But yeah. the people from Africa, they help him to push up. So, of course. Yeah, so me too, on the level where I am right now, now I can speak English. So yeah. My album coming, it's all English. I'm not singing again. I would it. Honestly, I wouldn't even say attempt to do four English albums. What I would say to do, or mm -hmm. songs, period, keep your culture. I mix. Mix everything. Yes. Half and half. If I say English, yeah. it means like a boy from Philly. The chorus was English. The yeah. verse is yeah. my language. So I've been mixing. And this way I say that which uh, type of music you do. Um, I can do reggaeton. I can do Afro, I can do r and I can do hip hop. For me, music is my life. Word. If you listen to all my songs, they are different. Yeah. It's, it's the song I do Afro, the song I do hip hop. So for me, anything I can. So one time I'm gonna choose one style yeah. I'm gonna be in. But I think hip hop or Afro, Afro hip hop. Word. Soon as you drop, Anything off of that project, send it to me. I want to listen I, to yeah, it. Yeah, of course, of course. And you know we got the club. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. Got the vibes at the club. Actually, Shout out to your vibes. Club, the vibes. I really love your, the club. is very good. And hey. it's popping. Appreciate yeah. you, appreciate you. We try, we try. You know no, what I'm saying? No, no, it's popping. Big shout out to Vibes Hookah Lounge. Big yeah. shout out to G-Logic to go. Yes. Big shout out to DJ EDV. Big shout out to Big shout out to Cinematic. Ooh. Yes, big love, big love. Are you doing this independently? Are you under management? Is there anybody that, that you looking to work with or as a team no, that I'm you're working this, with? So you're doing I'm it all doing this by yourself? Independently. I use my yeah. hustle to do this. No, yeah. no. Keep doing it, man. Just keep grinding. Keep putting music out. Keep building your social medias and all that, which you're doing, yeah. you're doing good already. Yes, yes. You know what I'm saying? So keep giving the people what they want. Yeah. yeah. What's the name of the song you're gonna perform for us? I'm gonna perform Boy from Philly. Yeah. Boy from Philly, your city tycoon. Let's yeah. go. Let's get yeah. it. Yeah. Boy from Philly, I do my own things. I make them feel the vibes of our OGs. I'm chasing Milly. I won't trust bitches. You kakade kade, chakadade kumi bade. You kakade kade, I'm boy from Philly. Boy from Philly, I do my own things. I make them feel the vibes of our OGs. I'm chasing Milly. I won't trust bitches. You kakade kade, chakadade kumi bade. Yeah, fire. Champagne, nibi tulika Aiso mawisti na utsuni kai Changwe nibi sagu saa Big dwag wazburi kwa Mani mani to Menye rankunja pa Pustai ni jama kuyo pum pum Vum vum Kata bino zum zum Uraboni mirabijo Inkuba ni zirad Dabonu tanzi mani Wamura sta wazamani Siti ye mimurika Siti yo siguruka Buri bounce Nishori baby changwe ituta Umubiru raka Habana basa nyifaranga Biti ndazibag Speak anga hochan Double da popiso Nibu shaka korabu Bidirigo imazoni Yo se ninja nira pju Mira cosu bima bro fro Muli stoke Yang never broke Fake rappers o Senza horan ziru kansa Zisiba muli zone Double rap upe so Nibu shaka korabu Bili digo in mazone Yo se ninja nira pju Mira cosu bima bro fro Muli stoke Yang never broke Fake rappers o Senza horan ziru kansa Zisiba muli zone Yeah Zisiba muli zone Hey boy from Philly I do my own things I see the tycoon Boy from Lancaster, DJ Laji, Easy V, Race Go, Fire, Fire, yeah, 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 uh, DJ, I need another one, another one, another one, let's go, let's go, let's go, yeah, yeah, I need another one, I need another one, when I do this Afro, it's like a love song. Oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 CTM. Katarina to the heat. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Darling, you deserve my love. You deserve my pride. You 
deserve my time You deserve all right girl Who done she me shall white lie Videns I can't lie Truly I can't die For your love What a gem Kubu wanje Naba nisi se Damu ten kubu se Shenge mama we Jangu kumbura Call me anytime, man. You could in my Catali. 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 City Tycoon, yo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. City Tycoon! Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Jesus! Sure. In a year or two, like he said, yeah. we're going to be seeing something big. Yeah. Bro, so, I'm going to sure. be big. I know. I got confidence. I'm going to work I feel more it. so that yeah, everything. Feel is... it. Keep loyal to your dreams. Yes. And you're going to get it. You I put God it. first, then everything's. Always, Amen. bro. Yeah. Always. Thank you so yes. much. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Now, given, yeah. Yeah. Uh, now, given the platform to be able to give a message to anybody that's watching this, what message would you want to give to anybody else? All I need is support. As I said before, I'm from Rwanda. My original country is Rwanda, but I grew up in Uganda. So there are two countries that they are neighbor. Yeah. It's like a Dominican and the Puerto, Puerto Rico. And Haiti. Yeah, and Haiti. So it's like the same. So when I left Rwanda, I went in Uganda. It's um it's where I grew up. So it's like they speak two different languages. Yeah. And I, I know all those languages. I, I can sing in every language. So my life started there in Uganda. Uh, as I'm telling you, like... I do my music by my own. Um, I try to make sure I do good things so that I reach to the next level. So all I need is the support. Keep supporting my music. I know I be singing uh, the language you don't understand, but I promise you, music is not a language. Music is vibe, vibes, and, vibes. Yes, and the motivation. Vibes. The yes. Message, where man. I am right now, the level where I, I am right now, it's not bad. But if you give me a really good support, I'm not going to disappoint you. Most, most especially here in Lancaster. We are loving Lancaster. Lancaster. I want... Oh. At, yes. Nice. I used to live in Philly, but yeah. me and my family, we moved here. So we have a house here in Lancaster. I'm normally like safe. I'm from Philly. So Lancaster yeah. is my home. So I want also to work hard so that in the United States, in, the United States, in the future, they're going to be saying... We got a big artist from Lancaster, and his name is City Tycoon. City and I promise Tycoon. you, it's and Tycoon. I promise you, my people from Lancaster, if you give me a support and believe in me, I'm gonna present this city to the whole world. Thank you so much. Big shout out to City Tycoon. <laughs> big shout out to Lancaster, <laughs> Lancaster, yeah. and the rest of the world. Yeah. Make sure y'all stick around. Tune in to City Tycoon. Check out his music. Where can they find you? Uh, I'm on all social media platforms. Uh, on the, I'm on Instagram. It's City Tycoon. I'm on Facebook, City Tycoon. My music is everywhere. Spotify, Apple Music, TikTok, Instagram. So ever you can find, just type City Tycoon. I really appreciate it. And we'll put the link in the description. It sounds yeah. like we're saying city, but we're saying CT Tycoon. It's like a different accent. Sometimes it say City Tycoon, and I yeah. say City Tycoon. But you didn't ask me why I called myself City Tycoon. As a matter of fact, how did you that? get your name? I was just about to ask him that, bro. Get yeah. it. Let's get it. Where did you so, get the name City Tycoon? You know, Tycoon is like someone who is wealthy. That is why I work hard. I don't want to shame my name. Because Tycoon means someone who got money, who yeah. is wealthy. The things which is happening right now, I used to dream them when I was young. Before. I have a dream. One day I'm going to be a billionaire. That dream, I know it's going to happen. Mm. The way I dreamed before, I'm going to be in America, and it happened. I dreamed before, 
one day I'm gonna make a concert. I did a concert here in Lancaster, be myself. I, I got a lot of people and the club where you are, uh, that's the club yeah. I booked. I nice. Yeah, I did the uh, concert there inside there. That's back when there was uh Yes. Like as who can Yes. Yeah. So I did by myself. It was like a test to see the level where I am. Yeah. So the reason why I called my name City Tycoon, it's I want to as I say, I want to be uh, a big boss. I want to be a billionaire, I wanna be famous and rich. And when I was in also in my country, although I was, I was from ghetto, I was not bad. I had a girlfriend. That time, I was not called City Tycoon. I was called Don. My yeah. name was, because I looked like I had money. Then the girl, when she see me, it was on a Christmas. Uh, I bought for her a Christmas gift. Yeah. When she see what was inside, she took my Facebook. Because she, she had my phone. Then she added the name. She put City Tycoon. When I come on my Facebook, I say, what? Why, why I'm a city tycoon? She said, no, you deserve that name. Yeah. From that right. day, that's why that name. She, city it's tycoon. A, yeah, there right. is a girl who gave me that name. And she told me, better keep that, that name. Yeah. Don't ashamed your name. Because tycoon, as I told you, you have to look like tycoon. So that she said, make sure don't disappoint me. I know you're going to go far. Keep that name. Fire. Yeah. That's fire, bro. Mm. That's fire. Shout out, bro. Big shout out to the girl. Yeah. <laughs> that made the city time. I really miss that girl. She's back in, a, in a Uganda right now. I know she's watching me. Yeah. But all I can say, I really love you so much. And thank you so much. And I'm not going to disappoint you. The name hey. is going to go bigger and bigger. Yeah. City Taco. Shout out Coming to, to a city day. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yo, we appreciate you coming by. Uh, b b before I finish, yeah. Uh, I really wanna thank you. I really wanna thank you, Logic. I wanna thank you so much for course, giving me this chance, then giving me this platform. This means a lot to me. And mm -hmm. thank you for supporting music, each kind of music, all the people from different countries, from different um, states. And I know this thing you're doing, it's really good. And as I said, this is my first interview. It's gonna so be on my have. heart. Yeah. This, this is gonna be my heart for the rest of my life. As I said, yeah. that girl, she's gave my name. She will always be on my heart. You two here, and my first producer. Black Cash Star. Thank you so much. Black Cash, Black Cash Star. Yeah. Big yeah. round of applause, yeah. my man, City yeah. Tycoon. Yeah. You're gonna be a legend. As long as, like I said, you stay loyal to your dreams. Yes. You're going to get there. And I wish you a long, prosperous, and successful life and career. Yes. Easy V. Yeah. We're going to have to put one of his songs at the at the lounge tonight. For sure. Big shout out to my man, DJ Easy V, man. Shout out to Make sure you follow me on Instagram. Follow me. Yeah. Then go follow me. It's Easy V. Yeah. It's underscore, bro. Underscore. Underscore Easy V. Yes. Play that song, Easy V. Make sure you follow G Logic at G Logic the GOAT. Yeah. That's not his Instagram, though. DJ underscore G underscore Logic. Yeah. Damn. It's City Tycoon. City Tycoon. Yeah, Where we can yeah. find you at, bro? Where we can find you at? No, Instagram, as I said, Instagram is City Tycoon. Yeah. Yeah. Once again, y'all, we wrapping it up here. Lancaster City Tycoon, my man DJ EZV, DJ G Logic. Stay tuned for the next episode and the episode after that. Make sure you go check out my man City Tycoon's freestyle right here live on Lancaster. Chill, we out. <laughs> it's a wrap.